Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Toes. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat uh, the legendary Iron Man challenge with only rookies and nothing but rookies. It's time for a supply raid Operation Frost. Frost Slayer is at our hands and we will fight against many, many, many lost but unfortunately on top of it potentially a couple more um, of advent soldiers same equipment as always our slightly modified uh, guns on top of it three grenades two med kits uh, we got uh, the ever so threatening uh, skull uh, jack and we got a flashbang grenade maybe if we play our cards right this could be a mission where we are using the skull jack sane and uh, sonar as, uh, as well as the other two have uh, quite high um, uh, quite high likelihood to form a bond. That's why I have chosen those rookies and we're now diving right into the action. Here we go guys, here we go. And guess what, we are landing, here we go. Landed as always in the middle of lost territory. Oh boy, if that is the first crate, we are dealing with a large map. Good, let's start with something that should be easy peasy. Moving up. None of our soldiers should break a sweat here. Upstairs. It's usually good because there are never really enemies. And we want to keep our concealment as long as possible because the longer we keep it the longer nothing will happen the moment that we lose it the enemy will start extracting crates we need one crate one crate uh, in order to successfully finish this mission and afterwards we can theoretically extract without shame or losing anything Is that... Oh, there is glass in there, so that makes sense. I was wondering how is that creating... Creating a distraction. Got it isn't. Hey, well, moves down. There is even a captain whom we could theoretically skulljack. Got Gotta be a bit careful target. here. Moving in packs of two. I want to get as close to the target as possible before even starting to fight the packs. But these guys here might trigger sooner than later. Okay, let's continue to move up. Like I said, I want to be care mindful that the crate over here is what we really need. And we got some high ground there, which is delicious. Really good. Might as well try to get it. Careful move down. Uh, sonar is stepping up here. And it's the last round where we can take that high ground, so might as well take it. They are potentially going to move in here. Roger. I've got my eyes on. No, they are actually moving away. That is great. Good news for us. But all of the good news are always followed up with really, really, really poor, stinking news. Did 
Damn it, is there is there a way to get at least one raid, guys? Come on. Ewar continues to move over. On it. Continuing to move up. I want to be careful here. Getting into a position where I could grab that crate. We're looking at a lot of enemies. I don't want to trigger all of them. These guys now trigger one another, so the pack is effectively triggered. These guys here are triggered now. Okay, the main question is how do how can we not trigger these guys but deal with the rest? I'm not sure if there is a great answer. They are currently no longer in line of sight, which is a start. 85% isn't bad either. Are we, how are we dealing with the mutant? That's one of our biggest problems, right? This here could be a thing. We don't want to move too far. They can trigger next turn, but this turn. In a perfect world. We would be killing the mutant. Problem with is that we don't have high ground. And it's a bit too far away. It would be a great shot, but it is a bit too far away. And we cannot cluster up either, so... Waiting one more round is not a good idea. These will be killed. Mutant is not standing in the open anymore. The mutant has 10 defense. I never realized that, but it makes sense. Makes them a better frontline unit, I suppose. So yeah, let's try that. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. Good, so theoretically, theoretically. The losts would spawn after the next grenade, right? Right. Na 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 na. That's a trap. If we open the door, he will see these guys and we're. F uh, mm. Nope. That's well, not happening. However. Nah, throwing a grenade is potentially also not a good idea. 
This is a big, big trap. The moment that we're opening that door. Although... Hmm. Now, nah, I don't want to have another pack adding up. This here will get us closer to high ground for next round. And the flashbang grenade would be A as a protection against the mutant so that it doesn't move around a lot and B in order to spawn losts because that is what we need right now. Mutants are super dangerous, gotta be careful. There we go. That swarm should keep them plentiful busy. Of course, some of the dashers are making it difficult for us. Good, so that will prevent us from taking major damage and this here is hopefully going to be a nice little crit well it's not a crit but it is good damage we're watching there is the trigger that i was talking about we're not going to use the school jack this would just be adding another layer of complexity Nice, so it's a good shot for someone who is disoriented. What well, is a pretty good shot for someone who is disoriented. Alright, luckily he was only dealing with that one lost and not with a bunch of lots. All right, one hit. Did he just hit something that explodes? Fantastic. The cavalry has um, arrived. That's exactly what we were looking for. More losts. One of the losts is blocking, blocking a package. <sighs> He's blocking a package up there, really. Let's use her magazine as far as we can. Just getting rid of some of the losses, right? And then she will hunker down. Alright, that should be a hit. Very good. And instead of reloading, we're hunkering down, which is great. We do the hundred percent frag grenade kill. Still want the package, damn. move to here which would be super super aggressive and then explode that whole thing 
Let's think that through. More explosions, more losts. It would kill this loss, this loss, the package would be gone, but we are securing one package. Oh, Saiken, are you getting. Are you talking yourself into a stupid situation? Mutant still needs to die, that is a big problem. need more actions we gotta clean up the field six points of damage is not enough to kill however if we're fragmenting that should explode that here on top So that's all of a sudden nine points of damage. It would of, of course shred him completely and fall damage on top. So wait a second. This is like what? Six points of damage, which is really five, two, four, five, fall damage, not a kill. With a grenade together, it would be a kill. So we could one shot grenade kill this guy. Might as well do it from up here. But we could equally so just move to here and throw a grenade. The problem is the mutant would still be alive. And that indeed would be an issue. Yeah, we need to clear our flank. This here is fortunately not acceptable. This should completely one-shot the mech and maybe spawn more loss. Falling damage? Ooh, miscalculated it. That guy is down to one HP. Well, we got a problem here, Houston. stand in the open all right we killed two we're being driven off of uh, the crates which is a shame could have played it more aggressively but I think I would have lost sane in the process And this here is really unfortunate. Just standing up there like an idiot. Cover my flank. Well, soon more explosions will happen because that car now starts to burn. And there is another swarm. Well, fantastic. At least the action will continue to go on. <sighs> Between the Ice would be one of uh, the mods that I would immediately load. Getting that in instant kill. Rock and roll. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, I think that's a no-brainer, but it is a no-brainer for someone in a poor uh, in a poor position. Still got to deal with this guy as well, and with a lot of losses. Let's start clearing out some of them. Kill confirmed. Specifically, the dashers are a problem. So that's all we could do. Reload, kill three, facilitate a massive explosion. Uh, the brute is not a one shot, the dasher isn't one either. the situation that we're in here we need momentum on our side so I'm reloading and let's kill the mutant I mean, we're being driven off even further from the crate. That's potentially not going to be very helpful. We do have Haywire who can sprint over and take it. And this crate is our lifeline to succeed in the mission. So we got to treat it with dignity and respect. This crate is our friend and we want to make sure that it stays that way. move up here but that would not be in line of sight I want high ground but I don't want to cluster up we move up here completely in the open on the other hand we're having a problem this guy can anyways hit us Moving a tiny bit back. That's not good enough as hit chances. We gotta focus on this mech. Aim. Talking about not being good enough as hit chances. That was poor. Absolutely horrible. Doesn't matter that we're in the open. There are plenty of targets around, it's just matters that we're not clustering up. There we go, three losses have just hit the ground. Now that's what I meant. He can flank us anytime. That's really nothing. Uh, that it really doesn't matter that we're in the open because the mech could just flank us. Now, there will be more losts and we gotta deal with the crates like right now. And we gotta deal with a loss also right now. Okay, well, even better.
Good. Like I mentioned, I'm willing to give up some momentum here in order to get that crate. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're not going to kill the lost spec there. These lost here need to die. Hmm. 85% unfortunately a miss. Potentially should have moved up. I don't know why the game is not frozen, but apparently missing was too much for it. Let's get the dasher down. It's still moving. Certainly doesn't help that we're missing those 80% shots. It's going to be a bit of a pessimist and a wet blanket here. This will at least prevent the loss from catching up. Oh wow, we fell as well. Well, that did not work as expected, unfortunately. Good, we gotta deal with the hundreds of lots now. And one way of doing that is just withdrawing. Fuck you. I don't know why exactly that was supposed to happen. There were hundreds of other targets, but okay. taking a beating here Firebrand is on deck for recovery keep marking those crates Metis 1 5 okay so what's the plan what is the plan I can tell you what the plan is It's the get me out of your plan. Moving out. Advanced autoloader is great. We'll compensate for the losses that we had over here. Um. This here should almost give us a chance to collect the corpse. Let's get you out of here. That at least saves the weapon. Position confirmed. And let's just evac. I think it's still a successful mission, sort of. But yeah, we. We just got pushed off of uh, the target. The lost are beasts. Oh my gosh. Too strong. Way too strong. I could have... Uh, I, I was about to withdraw after that last uh, engagement. And take high grounds and um, 
the moment that we would have killed the mech, I think uh, we would have had everything under control. Just a little bit more damage here and there, but we're fine. But it moving into uh, into a cover spot, uh, into a flanking spot, and then just critting us and one-shotting us. That is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Anyways... Taurus, thanks for your service. You will be remembered. Well, we got some alloys, we got some supplies, and we at least won a mission. Suppose that's worth something. Got another bond. Right here. Sane and Sonar. Yes, please. Good, so we at least got some bonds going for us. Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the count. And supplies would be helpful. But I think we equally need intel, so we're just continuing with that. Nice, we got tail and rounds. Well, that is indeed good news right there. Are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Tail and rounds is good. Well, that will give us crit and uh, crit chance and extra damage on normal shots as well. This will prove to be an important step forward. And finally, we got magnetic weapons. Let's try to upgrade these bad boys. Yeah, we don't need gauze weapons. Although, I'm not sure if we need to go through all of the weapons in order to get the upgraded weapons. I think for now, what we could do is we could start with uh, some of some of uh, the items that we need. Faceless corpses for Mimic Beacons will be a starter. Experimental weapon could be a thing for the bolt, ca bolt caster, but... It's a bit late for that now. Certainly mind shields will be great. I think we're going no, with mind shields first because that is needed for um, Psy as well. I'm very sure that it is. Humanizing our enemies will make it all the more difficult for our troops to face them in battle. Okay, here we go. Our action together is complete. Fantastic. We got five more hacking on uh, Roby. Comes the opportunity for you to assign us new orders, Commander. And does this allow us to do anything? No, it does not. Recover loot? Nope. And nope. And nope. Yeah, we have no more missions left over for this month. The sad reality of just having rookies. You're running out of missions. Very good. That is mind shields, which is exactly what we need. And we're chiming in with psionics now. Good. Let's sell something and upgrade the weapons before the month's end. Uh, month ends. Because with month end. This here will also change their areas that they are interested in. Yep, priest, no problem. Superior focus, we don't need that, so 60 is great. Purifier corpse, two gone, no problem. Metal effect, make it three, because we have nothing to gain from them at the moment. That should be the end of the month. Right there, yep, well played. He can now summon admin trooper, admin troopers. That means two of them. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Of course, we're getting scolded by the council uh, men. Oh, and this is like choosing between being stuck in a, a between a rock and a hard place. 
uh, do it if uh, damned if you do it damned if you don't right so we don't want extra armor on uh, them that's nasty but I most certainly don't want uh, the immunity to hazard effects however this is, I think the first time that it comes through so we have a second chance to prevent it Research, re uh, research source rewards um, on all missions are increased by 15%. Well, it's not much, but it will add up. It makes us weaker in the actual combat, though. We're not scanning for many resources, so might as well not do that. Sniper breakthrough not needed this here would be great new combat intelligence but i think yeah see the combat intelligence is what is blocking it um plus one resistance context that's good and a promotion which is completely unavailable for us so we only got a promotion and a resistance comms and a bit of will So I think we're going to do this here. Let's put two random rookies on uh, on here. Iggy Hungry Shadow and Priyavada Sarin. I think Iggy was one of uh, the viewer characters, so apologies, that's not a random rookie. Uh, do we want to prevent the ambush from happening? Worst thing that could happen is they are dying on the ambush. Not afraid of that. Into this worth more than two rookies. That's the harsh reality. Lerum crystals would be fantastic right now. But we also need them. So in terms of upgrading the weapons, hey, let's do that first. Build items, weapons, magnetic rifle, 20 alien alloys. Troops have been keeping count on alien kills. Might be a useful recruiting tool. Alien alloys it is once again. Pouring in all of our intel. Superior speed, irrelevant for us. An additional engineer would be nice, but also not fully necessary at this point. We're okay. So, build items. And all of this is irrelevant. The only thing that matters to us is the rifle. And maybe one mine shield. It's not a bad investment. Good. So. We are down in resources. But psionics are coming through. The moment that that is done. We do have an opening here. Uh, to build it. And potentially can then start to train. And slowly, slowly, slowly. Get... Um, get some upgraded, some much needed upgrades for our squad size going. We need more supplies, but before that happens, we got another scientist and intel, and that intel is vital. So, gotta, we gotta be successful with this uh, mission here. That's a pure VIP rescue mission from an Advent uh, facility, but it's exactly the type of mission that we that we need right now. So we got to bring our quote unquote A team and uh, do that mission. I am thrilled because we do have upgraded weapons and that will keep us in the game just uh, at the moment, just like that. Barely in the game. I think afterwards we will need to go for Gauss weapons. I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's 
We can re oh wait, we could maybe research Alarium, right? And with Alarium, we might be able to research uh, plasma weapons afterwards. Who knows? Our biggest constraint will be Alarium, so that's why I also didn't sell it. Anyways, <coughs> thanks for watching. I appreciate your viewership. If you like uh, the Rookie Balboa run, the Eye of the Tiger, then leave a comment and a like down below. And uh, see you in two days. Bye bye.